Jews. We're back in New York City. We're going to visit two of the best Jewish food spots in the Lower East Side. And because it's International Women's Day, we're going to visit ones that are co-owned by a woman. Extra good. Everything bagel. Cream cheese. We're here at Russ and Daughters Appetizing Store, and it's been in business since 1914, but it actually started before then. It was founded by Joel Russ, who was an immigrant from Poland, and when he came here to the United States, he originally sold appetizing goods from a push cart on the Lower East Side, and then he saved enough money to open up this physical store. And at first, it was called Russ Cut Rate Appetizers. Now, as you could see from the neon sign, Russ and Daughters, this is uh, the first physical location that had and daughters in the name because back in the early 1900s most businesses were passed down from father to son father to son but Joel Russ had only three daughters so when it came time to think about like who would be you know taking over his store what he decided to do was to add the and daughters and the reason why is because all three of his daughters worked at the location and they were happened to be really beautiful teenagers and he realized that at that time there was like hundreds of appetizing stores in the Lower East Side because there was a big Jewish population and there was a lot of competition but because his daughters were so pretty people would come into the store and shop here just because they wanted to flirt with the daughters and sometimes maybe there was a little bit of matchmaking going on who knows and to this day it's now run by the fourth generation co-owners uh, Joshua uh, Russ Tupper and um, Nikki Russ Fetterman and their descendants of the and daughters so that's really really cool that it stayed in the family because there's not too many generational owned businesses today so be, be sure to take a number when you enter the store After looking around the shop and seeing all the smoked salmon, caviar, herring, cream cheese varieties, breads, dried fruits and nuts, we decided today to go with their specialty sandwich, which Herman lovingly prepared for us. Well, this is actually a, a Norwegian salmon. The reason I chose this was it's right on the perfect spot. You know, it's right in the middle of the, of the, uh, of the, uh, of the side, so you're able to do like uniform slices. And it's also a little fattier than the Okay. So Herman, while you're while you're preparing, can you tell us when you first started working here at the shop? Oh boy. If my memory don't fail me, I started October 7, 1980. You can do the math as well. So we're ready to make the perfect sandwich, right? You got it. We're gonna have you can use any kind of cream, but this is actually the uh, plain cream cheese very smooth. This cream cheese is all natural, so there is no gum, so very smooth. And when you're eating a smoked salmon like this one, which is very mild, you don't want a cream cheese that has like gums or anything like that, because it will take away from the texture and the flavor. All right, so we got a perfect base here right now. So we're gonna remove the cream cheese. Okay. Should I talk about the slicing as well? Yeah. Whenever you're cutting salmon, right, you need the first thing you need is a real sharp knife. 
right? So you can see right through it. This part right here is edible, but for, 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 the, for the look, you know, for the static, we want to take it off. But some people like that. They, they, they think it's the best part of the uh, salmon. The fat part right there. Good. Thank, Thank you. you so much. And how long did it take you to perfect your slicing technique? Exactly. You know, the best way to compare this is like riding a bicycle. Uh, if people get on the bike and they start running and like if they it's, they've been riding all their life. Some, some other people actually fall maybe 10, 15 times before they get it. Right. Okay. But slicing is a combination of elbow, the wrist, right? the knife, and your vision. When you're slicing, you want to make sure that the angle is about 45 degrees. That's why you often say it's like if you cut in one slice, straight down, but that has to be done with movement. So whenever you move the, whenever you move the knife back and forth, you're going to create like little hills or pumps. But the, 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 the slice should be straight. Now I can do that with movement. And in order to do that, my elbow needs to be completely steady, right? And let the knife do the cutting all the way down. Right? And then when you lift it up, you have a perfect you think slice. Oh, let me take this out. Can you see through that? Yeah. You can read through it. Now if you go back here, you see that it's very straight. Yes. For that, you have to practice. Normally, that would be enough salmon, but since I caught it, I'm going to put it over there. Now we're going to put some onions and tomato. That would be the perfect. I guess one slice would be enough. This is a big meal. As you can see, we can use, I use both hands. I have a lot more precision with my left. There's actually uh, an interesting story because I'm, uh, up until the time that I came to work here, they don't allow any lefty to work behind the counter. Because they figure that if you cut him with the left and everybody's cutting with the right, there's a conflict of interest and then you could cut somebody. Yeah. So Sydney, uh, his friend's father, Sandy, right? Sandy's father, who was here for 40 years. When I first got the knife with my left, he's like, oh, forget it. You can't work here. I said, why not? No lefty. So I took the knife I took the knife in my right hand and I started cutting. And then he was like, okay, I guess you can stay. <laughs> and ever since then, I've been slicing. So now, I'm going to show you the inside of the sandwich. See, now you have all salmon, the cream cheese, the onion, and the tomato. Amazing. All right, and that's somebody's gonna have to eat this now, right? Oh, we well, no you, you've got, you've got it. That's not a problem. <laughs> yes. Okay, there you have it. A perfect bagel and cream, just tomato and onion. So, from Russian daughters, you know we had to get their classic bagel, everything bagel, cream cheese, a schmear, and lox. And this is, this is actually their Norwegian salmon. Okay, let's take a bite. Really delicious. Extra good. Open in 2014, 100 years after their shop originally opened on Houston Street. And the fourth generation owners, Joshua and Nikki, decided to open the cafe because they wanted to give their customers who had waited patiently online to buy their goods um, a place to sit down and enjoy all their specialties, including their smoked salmon. They serve a board with um, their bagels and bialis, and they have platters. They have egg dishes, caviar, herring. We 
love the inside of the shop. The shop has all the beautiful little cubbies with the signage just like the Houston Street store and there's uh, plenty of places to sit and there's a really nice lunch counter like um, bar area where they have little stools and you can order egg creams and sodas and cocktails. The classic board is on the left with bagel, smoked salmon, cream cheese, tomato, onion, and capers. We always like to sit in one of the booths in the back and get borscht, chopped liver with matzah and pickled red onion, and their amazing eggs benny, served with smoked salmon and challah bread. This is the actual Russ and Daughter shopping bag circa 1950s from the collection of Calvin Trillin. So we just got their babka ice cream sandwich from the Russ and Daughter's Cafe, which you could also get it from the original location on Houston Street, rather. But here it is. So this is their homemade babka, and they make their own ice cream as well. Oh my god, it looks so amazing. Let's try it. It's gonna cool off on this hot day. Mmm. So good. Extra good. Hey guys, it's so great to be back in New York. Thanks so much for watching. And definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. And please watch our other videos, especially our Lower East Side Jewish food tour and some other great food tours. Bye guys. Bye guys.